we're going to be reading Preston's Positive Thoughts. I am a problem solver. Ooh, I can't wait to see what this book's about. Ooh, mm -hmm. I know, it looks so good. The author is Janelle French, and the illustrator is Karina Yasinova. Okay, so are you ready to read this book with us? Yes, I'm so ready! Oh, me too. And don't forget to stay tuned for our book review and our fan submission. Okay, Yay. let's get to reading. See you soon. Bye! Bye. Okay, today we're going to be reading Preston's Positive Thoughts. I am a problem solver. Oh, who wrote this book? This book is written by Janelle French. And who illustrated this book? This book is illustrated by Karina Yasinova. Oh. Is everyone ready to hear the story? Oh, yes, I can't wait to hear the story. Yeah, yeah me too. Here I go. Today was stinkier than my dad's feet. Oh, he must have really stinky feet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> In PE, we played soccer, and I thought, I'm a horrible at soccer. I gave a half-hearted try to kick the ball in the goal and missed. I could feel everyone laughing at me. Oh, he must have felt so bad. I know. Yeah, probably embarrassed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My teacher, Mr. Leffler, said we had a multiplication test. I thought, I'm not good at math. I could feel myself starting to sweat. I was only able to answer a few questions on the test and he probably didn't get any right. Oh, he's thinking negatively. Oh, yeah. Ooh, let's see what happens next. Later, my brother Aiden asked if I wanted to try his hoverboard. I thought, I won't be able to do that. I fell and scraped my knee and elbows. Aww. Oh, no. Sound like he hurt himself. Oh, yeah. and look at his knee. Oh, his poor knee. Yeah. Poor Preston. Oh. Yeah. That night, I stood at the ceiling thinking about my terrible day. I despise soccer. I'm bad at math. I'm mad at Aiden for making me try the hoverboard. I knew I would sneak at it. Oh, wow. Sounds like he yeah. had some hard days. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds like his day was stinky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stinkier than his dad's feet, right? Yeah. Oh, look, he was hiding behind the sheets. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah. Then I had a thought. Actually, I had a thought about my thoughts. Every time I thought I couldn't do something, I struggled with it. But... But what would happen if I thought I could do something? <gasps> Ooh, maybe that's the answer. Oh, yeah. My thoughts affected my feelings. Good. My feelings affected my actions. Oh, he's onto something. Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning, pupils. Today we're starting with math class. Oh. So. The four math, columns on the board uh -huh. are four plus two, four plus three, four plus four, and four plus five. It is your turn. Come up to the board today, Robert. Oh, it's my turn today? Yes, come oh, on up. Okay. Come solve these problems. Oh, these math problems are just too hard. I won't get any of them right. What if I was able to change my thoughts? Would that affect the way I felt? And would my actions change? Was I actually bad at things? Or were my thoughts leading me to be bad at them? I didn't want to feel bad again tomorrow, so I thought I would try something different. Oh, I wonder what he's gonna try. Mm. What do you think? What do you think he's thinking about, Kitty? Uh, um, I think he's thinking about soccer. Oh yeah. He probably has a strategy for soccer for tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I think so. Let's see. In art the next day, Miss Jenny said we would be sculpting. I started to think, oh, no, I can't do sculpting. But I remembered that if I thought I'd be bad at it, I probably would be bad at it. So instead, I focused on Miss Jenny's instructions. I said to myself, I am smart and I can do hard things. When I was done, my clay pot looked as good as James's, and James was the best artist in the class. Wow, oh, wow, look how good he did. Look at his pot way back there. He did a great job. Oh, 
yeah, I love the beautiful print on it. Uh-huh. Mr. Leffler said we had a reading test today. I thought, I'm bad at tests and started to sweat. I realized I was thinking bad thoughts again. I said to myself, I'm a good test taker. I read my book to Mr. Leffler and he told me I did a great job. Oh wow, he was thinking positively. He was thinking good thoughts. Oh, yeah, I know it looks like he's reading the big book yes. of reading. Oh yes, look at him. Oh, I'm so proud of him. Me too. Oh, and me please. I can do it. I know I can get these right. I have done a math problem like this before. Yes, I can do it. What a great job, Robert. They are all correct. Oh, great. I'm so glad I got them right. Yay! Good job. When I got home, he didn't ask me to play computer games with him. I thought, I'm terrible at... Wait! I remembered that I did better when my thoughts were good instead of bad. I gave it a shot and I played great. We played for a while and together we beat our cousins at the online games. Oh wow! He had positive thoughts! That's good! And then he won! Yay! Wow, look at all his toys he has! Oh, oh yeah! Those are so cute! Yeah, he's got a robot, a rocket ship, and superheroes! By changing my thoughts, I had the best day ever. I can be a problem solver with the power of my positive thoughts. Go, Go Reston! Oh, here's some about the author and the illustrator. Oh, that looks great. Oh, and a note to the reader. Oh, wonderful. And some other books by Janelle French. Oh, those look great. Oh, let me see. I see. I can use an I statement. Oh, and Haley helps a friend in need. Oh, yeah. there's such a great series. It looks like it's oh, a yeah. I am a problem solver series. Oh, great. Yeah. What a great story time. Oh, yeah. Bye. Stay tuned for our book review. back to the Preston's Positive Thoughts. I am a Problem Solver book review. Oh, this is perfect. I can't wait. I'm so excited to start. Okay, you go first, Abomino. What was your favorite part? Oh, yes. Well, I, I think my favorite part was that Preston figured out that when you think positively, it affects your actions. And you can do something. You can get things right when you think positively. I love that part too. And I also love how in art class, Preston makes an amazing clay pot. Oh, I love that part too. And I love that part about the test. Do you remember that part? Oh yeah, he thought if he would do good on the test, he would do good on the test. And he did, oh, this is such a good book for kids to read. Oh, there's so many times what I will think negatively. And then you know what? What? Then and then it doesn't go right. But now after reading this book, I see that if I think positively, then I will be able to do it. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Also, stay tuned for the art submission. Okay, we'll see you guys. It's a great art submission. Bye, Bye. see you soon. See you soon. This activity was done by London who lives in California. Oh, what a great job, London. I think you did the illustrate your own scene and you can find that on thinkaheadkids.com. There's so many free activities on there, right, Bookworm? Oh, yes. And then you can send it to Think Ahead Kids and then you can be like London and have your picture or your activity or artwork 
on one of our videos. Oh, you're so right. Yes, just email your submission to info at thinkaheadkids.com or you can mail it to us. And you can be like London and have your artwork on one of our videos. Yes. Oh, I love where she placed the snails. Me too, and the cloud and the leaves. It's all so beautiful. Oh, and that cloud, yes. Oh, and look at the tall pieces of grass. Oh, yes. Those are so unique and beautiful. Oh, perfectly placed. You know, it's okay to get help from your parents. Yes, if you need help cutting or gluing or printing, your parents can help you. Oh, most definitely. Well, thank you, London. And we'll see you guys next week for our next